Hello, my name's Adam from Into AV. We're the UK distributor of Grandview projection screens. And in this video, I'll be showing you the Cyber Series Home Theatre Tab Tensioned Electric Screen. So firstly, the material. Now the material is the most important aspect of any projection screen. It's what gives you the uniformly flat projection surface as well as the correct amount of gain. Now the gain is the reflectivity of the material, as in how much light coming off the projector is bouncing off the material back into the room. Now if the gain is too high, 1.6, 1.8 and above, it tends to increase the ambient light levels within the room quite a bit, and therefore your contrast ratio drops off dramatically. And that's the enemy of a decent home theatre setup. You want a good contrast ratio, so you need a low gain material like this one of 1.1, and uh, you'll get a really nice picture. The material also has uh, a good flex rate. Now the flex rate is, is how stretchy the material is. The reason why you need a tab tension screen to have a good flex rate is that you're pulling the material down via the weighted bar at the bottom, but you're also stretching it from left to right with these tab arms either side. If the material's not stretchy, you don't get that good flat material effect that a tab tension screen has. Some manufacturers tend to use the same uh, material on their tab tensions as they do on a standard electric. Um, the material is quite thick and heavy, it doesn't stretch very much, and that really defeats the object of a tab tensioning system. So this has a proper high flex rate material. Next, uh, the electronics. The electronics on the Cyber Series is all built into the end cap here. Most of the time you just have a four core cable coming out of the casing, which you then have to wire to a manual up and down switch in the wall, or you buy a separate interface box which gives you infrared remote control or 12 volt trigger. Cyber Series, it's all built in here. At the left hand end cap, you've got a mono mini jack, which is the 12 volt trigger. So if you run a two core cable from there to your projector, when the projector turns on, the screen will come down. When the projector's turned off, the screen will go back up. It's probably the most popular way of configuring the screen. Next, you've got an infrared eye there. Uh, that works with the included infrared remote control, which is quite handy. Should you block that infrared uh, uh, sensor by putting it in a cabinet or uh, putting a pelmet in front of the casing, you can uh, use the included IR infrared eye there, which sits on the ceiling or in front of the obstacle and plugs into the case. There's also a manual up and down override switch, and there's also an RS-232 socket for more sophisticated uh, remote systems like AMX or Crestron, something like that. Uh, inside the casing is uh, something that's quite uh, overlooked but is very important, and that's the roller. The roller that, uh, that has the material going up around it is really important because if the roller is not strong enough and it bends in the middle even slightly, you tend to get diagonal creasing across the screen, uh, which um, once it's there, it's really difficult to get out. So uh, this roller is made of a very heavy gauge aluminium. It's very strong and stays perfectly straight across the whole length, uh, further adding to the flatness of the material. Next, the mounting system, that's really easy. It's got two L-shaped steel brackets that can fix to the ceiling or to the wall. The brackets can clip into the casing anywhere along its length. So if you're in an awkward installation where say your ceiling joists are running from front to the back of the room and they don't quite marry up with the center of the screen, it doesn't matter. You just fix the L-shaped brackets to the joist, lift the screen into position onto the brackets and then you can slide the screen to center it up with the room. Once it's in position, there's two screws at the base of the bracket so you can tighten up. That lift the casing onto the brackets really tightly so you can't take it off again until you release those screws. I think that's about it for this screen. Um, if you've got any more questions, uh, go to cyberscreens.co.uk or you can email me, adam at cyberscreens.co.uk or my colleague Carl, C-A-R-L, at cyberscreens.co.uk and we'll do our best to help. Thanks very much.